Finally, over here. The Great Mage needs to speak to you. Good to see you again, my friend. I sent that message stone days ago. I was worried it hadn't reached you. Let me set aside what I was working on and then we can get down to business. It seems I have a message for you from an oracle. It was passed along in a manner that concerns me. But this isn't the proper way to hold a conversation. Meet me at the Mage's Guild Hall in Davin's Watch. We can speak there. The Great Mage doesn't waste magicka. Important business should be conducted in person, in civilized surroundings. And matters involving an oracle deserve a modicum of privacy. Besides, no one else can see me. You appear to be talking to yourself. We have much to discuss, you and I. Well, I was about to portal to Eleanor for a proper meal. But since you're here now, we might as well discuss that message. It came from Mariv, an oracle of the weird. I usually avoid soothsayers, but Mariv possesses a genuine talent. down to the last syllable. Her predictions are open to interpretation, but what she said made me uneasy. A web of trouble. The island that went away, three dark princes, and your name. After that, she stopped responding to my projections. It means you need to find the Oracle and make sure she's all right. I enchanted a small boat to take you to an isolated part of Bankurai, near her last known location. And take this medallion of summoning. Use it to call upon me if the need arises. As it so happens, the Great Mage knows a great deal about a great many things. What else can I tell you before you go? Uneasy? I don't believe that's the word I used. Nevertheless, her prophetic verses tend to be loquacious and hauntingly beautiful. This one was... terse. It mentioned trouble of some sort, a vanishing island and dark princes, probably Daedra. Well, trouble could mean almost anything, though nothing good. The island could refer to Arteum, the home of the Sigic Order. It disappeared more than 300 years ago. And I have heard rumors about some sort of Daedric alliance. You'll have to take that up with the Oracle. I suppose you figured into her vision or whatever it is that spawns her prognostications. If this message came from anyone else, I'd say it was some sort of ruse. Mariv, however, is the genuine article. Oracle Mariv belongs to the Weird, a sisterhood of witches that revere the natural world. Mariv started receiving visions at a young age. Over the years, she has provided the Mages Guild and the Sigic Order with warnings we could act upon. 
The usual sorts of dire predictions. Most recently, Mari foresaw the deaths of Kings Fulbert and Tamlian. She has an unusual knack, an ability to see into other realms as well as into possible futures. It makes her useful to the Sigic Order. Believe me, I tried. Mariv has always been a loner, even more so than her fellow Weirises. She said she had more to do and that you would come to save her. So get to it! Go save the Oracle! Then get her to tell you more about her vision. Surely you can puzzle that one out on your own. It will take you exactly where I told it to go. But the magic isn't permanent. Best get a move on. You don't want to be on that tiny boat in the middle of the ocean when the spell wears off. Give you the... What? Do you think I have a boat in my pocket? That it folds up and fits in your backpack? <laughs> Ridiculous! <laughs> it's nearby on the docks. I'll mark the location on your map. You're not one of those Daedric monstrosities. First these Daedric aberrations and now you? What trouble has Oracle Mariv dredged up this time? The Great Mage? That doesn't surprise me. He's always had a peculiar fascination with Mariv's talents. My sister prefers her solitude, but we come by occasionally to check on her. When I arrived, the Daedra were everywhere, but Mariv wasn't here. Interesting. I noticed fresh ink on one of her parchment sheets. I think she was writing something when the Daedra appeared. This vision must have been special to attract the attention of those unnatural creatures. Perhaps, but there's no evidence of violence here. No, I think she sent her message and escaped to a place of safety. Probably the old weird site in what is now the Mines of Chorus. It's a good place to hide. Seek Mariv there. Be careful. Those old mines may be abandoned, but that doesn't mean they're empty. Meanwhile, I shall tell my sisters what occurred here.
The summoning worked perfectly, as I knew it would. I assume you need my assistance? You decided to utilize the Medallion of Summoning. Very well. Then you might as well tell me how the search for the Oracle goes. Let me see that. Hmm. A little too familiar a greeting for my taste, but the Oracle always follows her own path. Ah, oh, clever Marie. Very clever. She left us a secret message and hid it in plain sight. It's all in the turn of phrase. Messages, elements, ritual, proper order. It makes perfect sense to someone who knows her well. The weird revere nature in the elements. We need to perform an elemental ritual to receive the message. Look for items that represent the elements. Air, earth, water. I'll find the prepared ritual site and you place the items in the proper order. That should do the trick. A little ostentatious, but I suppose that's part of being an oracle. The weirds draw power from the earth bones, so elemental items make sense. Hmm. Three engraved bowls. This must be the ritual site. A pure gemstone. You don't get much closer to elemental earth than that. What's that? A feather? Wait a moment. What's light as a feather? Air! A cup of water. Well, that's disappointingly obvious. Arif must have been in a hurry. Weird rituals aren't complicated. Just place the items in the proper bowls. Ah, something is happening. Master Vanus, is that you? You. You're the one I saw in my vision. I knew you'd be able to puzzle out my clues. But listen, I haven't much time. The Chaos Bringers, they caught me. They're taking me to an alien ruin somewhere in Oridon. Bawan, I think they said. Look, they'll be back soon. I have to tell you about my vision. It concerns Somerset and Arteum. Somerset, the green and pleasant island of the High Elves. Arteum, the vanished home of the Sigic Order. Both are caught in a dark and terrible web. I saw it. My visions. They aided the Sigics in the past. Now, others seem interested. Servants of the Dark Princes. They want to use my gift. Get me to reveal the location of Arteum. You need to help me. Bowan, 
They're taking me to... Oh no, they're coming back. Hurry, remember the one. That sounded... not good. You really should make haste and get to Bawan. The Oracle has need of you. No, this affair has taken on a completely different meaning. If Arteum and the Sigic Order are involved, and I need to keep the Mage's Guild out of it, what happens next falls on your shoulders. You'll find Bawan on Oridon's west coast. The Sigic Order is a monastic society that follows the old ways of magic. I belonged to the Order myself back in the day, before a disagreement over another member led me to break ranks and form the Mages' Guild. We no longer see eye to eye. Mareev not only sees into the hidden places, she has a way to contact them. It allows her to communicate with the Sigic Order's Rite Master. I assume that's one way the Order keeps track of affairs on Nern from wherever it is they hid their island. Because they might be able to use her to locate Arteum. At least, that's my working theory. I will alert the Mages Guild of Somerset about the threat, and then go to the Guild Hall in Skywatch. Meet me there after you retrieve the Oracle. Somerset is the ancient home of the High Elves. I was born and raised there. Mareev's vision suggests a threat to the island. There are people I need to warn. As for Arteum, it's the home of the Sigic Order. It doesn't currently reside on Nern. The island vanished 350 years ago. The Rite Master hid it in some pocket plane for who knows what purpose. I studied at the Sephora Tower during my time with the Order, but Sigic magic was too flashy for my taste. We'll deal with you. admires tenacity, but only to a point. Willing sacrifice. Very well. Step forward and die.
you from my vision. Come, speak to me. Time is short. The Dark Princes have almost achieved their goal. You must help me. Mafala believes she can reach Arteum through me. These bindings. Ugh. You must find a way to break them. Mafala's magic infuses the webs that bind me. Defeat the weavers and break the pinions. Then destroy the center fulcrum that secures me to this place. said I should visit Skywatch one day. I didn't get a chance to thank you for what you did for me.
Even though I sometimes see faraway places and future events, nothing can ever be truly certain. I knew you were coming to rescue me, but that didn't alleviate my fear. I thought I was going to die in Mafala's realm. Thank you. As an oracle, I can connect with other times, other places. I sometimes use that ability to converse with the Sigic Rite Master to keep him informed of events on Nern. Mafala's agents tried to use that connection to locate the hidden island. No. You arrived in time to stop them. But it was a close thing. The portal was nearly attuned to Arteum's location when you set me free. And once again, the visions that haunt me came to pass. I have no idea. Just because I can sense the island and reach out to communicate with the Right Master doesn't mean I actually understand the magic they use. I'm a Weiris, not a Sijic. It's somewhere else. That's all I really know. Oh, everything I saw remains true. The Dark Princes continue to circle Somerset like vultures around Carrion, and they still crave Arteum and its secrets. Your presence will play a pivotal role in the outcome. Good luck, my friend. Not that I was overly concerned, but I see you were able to retrieve the Oracle. Care to tell me what happened? Mafala. She must be one of the three Dark Princes in Mariv's prophecy. You stopped this attempt, but I fear Somerset and Arteum are still in danger. We? Oui. Because of the connection to the Sigic Order, I have to tread carefully. The right master, we don't exactly see eye to eye. You'll need to go to Somerset. Determine if the threat Marie foresaw is imminent or a worry for another day. Yes, the Ultima have a few peculiar notions. But, as luck would have it, I heard that Queen Irene has just issued a decree to open Somerset to immigrants and visitors. That's the perfect excuse for you to investigate the island. We'll show Marie the hospitality of the Mages Guild and make sure she's fully recovered from her ordeal. Then I'll make sure to get her back home. Thanks for your aid in this matter. Now, get to Somerset and do what you do best, my friend. A few of my colleagues are anxious to meet you, Mariv. I suppose, after I examine your garden and collect my thoughts, if that's all right. Of course, Oracle. Come inside whenever you're ready.